Hello and welcome to the news show. I'm John Sote. Today's features, technology is a crapshoot, IT jobs are up part two, and vacation planning internet style. Technology is a crapshoot. Microsoft sued 26 computer resellers in seven states alleging they pirated Microsoft software and sold unlicensed copies on their computers. Microsoft officials are warning users to be on the lookout for software spelled W-I-N-D-O-Z-E. Federal officials charged 11 people connected to a popular internet gambling site, BetOnSports.com, with conspiracy and fraud, including the founder and the CEO, and are seeking $4.5 billion in restitution from the Costa Rican company. The feds are favored to cover the spread. Virus writers are using the same techniques as the developers of open source software, such as sharing code and notes on programming, according to a new report from computer security firm McAfee. As a result, virus writers have changed the name of the next big internet threat from my doom to our doom. And finally, the use of laptop PCs is growing worldwide while the number of desktop PCs is stagnating, according to a new study. At the end of 2005, laptops were owned in 34% of households worldwide, up from 20% in 2003, while desktop PC ownership in the same time period remained at 60%. The reason? Everybody has a lap. Come on, Dice. Don't fail me. Whether it was the dot-com bust, offshore outsourcing of tech jobs, or both, IT as a career has fallen out of favor, especially on college campuses. Despite fears that IT is becoming a dead-end profession, high-tech jobs were added at a faster pace these past 24 months than some perennial hot jobs like accounting, law, and nursing. That's because IT's fall earlier this decade was far greater than those other professions. In 2003, IT unemployment soared to a record 5.6%, just marginally better than the overall jobless rate. But the three other knowledge professions that vie for talent with IT were hardly affected by the last recession. The unemployment rate for accountants hit 3.1%, lawyers 1.4%, and RNs 1.1%. So it's not surprising that with IT unemployment plunging to 2.2% last month, IT has outdistanced the competing professions in job creation. According to an Information Week analysis of government employment data, the number of employed IT pros rocketed by 5.6% over the past 12 months. Over the same two years, the percentage of accountants grew 3% and lawyers by four-tenths of a percent. Registered nurses' employment actually slipped by 1.4%. Still, those other professions continue to have lower unemployment than IT. That means the IT industry still has its work cut out to convince people that business tech jobs are here to stay. To learn more about IT employment trends, read my story maxed out in the current issue of Information Week or visit informationweek.com. For the news show, this is Eric Chabro. Instead of blindly jumping in your car this summer, why not take advantage of the web and all the great things it has to offer? Yahoo, for example, has just launched its Trip Planner, a research tool that lets people create travel guides and itineraries online. Yahoo Trip features include journals that can be personalized with text and photos and simple search functions for finding other people's journal entries in case you need a planning tip. Trip Planner also comes with an interactive map and pan and zoom technology. Yahoo says its new tool is intended to help travelers share their experiences with one another. Just one suggestion, consider flying instead of driving this summer. Gas might cost you as much as an airline ticket. Reporting for the news show, I'm Elena Malakina. Happy travels! Vacation is a state of mind, which is all I can afford anyway. I'm John Sode. Thanks for watching the new show. Most of the time, I'm sitting here, phoning it in, having a good time, trading stocks.